Okay, now we will also have a look at some wild animals. We will see some wild animals as well, like the lion, the, lo the wolf, uh, the elephant, the rhino, and so on. We will have a look at what they eat, what they eat. We will have a look at where they live, where they live, so if they live in the sea, if they live in the desert, if they live in the jungle, in the forest, uh, in cold places, okay? And then we will also see some videos of wild animals and farm animals as well, some videos of animals, okay? Now, we will start with what they eat. Okay, let's have a look at what do animals eat, what they eat. Okay, so we have the first one, the lion. What does the lion eat? What does the lion eat? The question. And the lion eats, third person singular, so it has an S. The lion eats meat. It likes meat. It's a carnivore. Let's have a look at the horse. What does the horse eat? The horse eats, third person singular, hay. It likes hay. It's an herbivore. The horse is an herbivore. Let's have a look at the shark. What does the shark eat? The shark eats other fish and seals, right? Other fish and seals. Um, it is a carnivore. It's a carnivore. What does the cow eat? The cow eats grass. It likes grass. It's an herbivore, okay? The cow is an herbivore. What does the squirrel eat? The squirrel. The squirrel eats acorns. Acorns. It likes acorns very much. What do you eat? What do you eat? What do you like? Personally, I eat everything and I like pizza and meat a lot. I like pizza and meat a lot. Another animal that eats everything is the bear. The bear eats everything. It eats meat, it eats honey, it eats insects, it eats fruit, it eats fish, it eats everything, okay? Good. Now we will have a look at where animals live. Okay, <clears throat> now we have where, not what, but where do animals live? This is the question, where do animals live? So let's have a look at the first one. Where does the horse live? The horse lives on the farm. Where does the lion live? The lion lives in the savanna. Where does the bear live? Where does the bear live? The bear lives in the forest with a lot of trees in the forest. Okay, this is a forest. Where do the sheep live? Where do the sheep live? Here the sheep is plural, okay? Plural. So no S in the answer. And we have the sheep live on the farm. Because it's plural. Live, not lives. And where do and not does. Because it's plural. Here we have where does the camel live? This is singular. 
The camel lives in the desert, in a very hot desert. Let's have a look at the shark. Where does the shark live? Where does the shark live? The shark lives in the sea, in the ocean as well, but in the sea in general. Let's have a look at the tiger. Where does the tiger live? The tiger lives in the jungle. In the jungle. The jungle is like a forest, but it's hot. In hot places, not in cold places, okay? And where does the polar bear live? Where does the polar bear live? The polar bear lives in very cold places like the Arctic or like Canada, Greenland, Alaska, okay? In very cold places. Now we have where do the mice live, plural, mice, one mouse, two mice. The mice live on the farm. So, with the verbs, only the third person of live has the S, lives, okay? Like eat, only the third person has the S, eats, okay? Now a question for you. Where do you live? Where do you live? I personally live in a home in a city called Milan. Milano, right? Very good. Now we have a little activity for you, little homework. Let's have a look. Here you have some habitats. Habitats, okay? Habitats for animals. We have on the farm, in the forest, in the desert, in the sea, in a home, in the jungle, in the mountains, in the savanna, in very cold places, okay? Now, stop the image and then write free animals, write free animals for each habitat, okay? For example, the horse lives on the farm. The bear lives in the forest. The camel lives in the desert. Now, another two for each habitat, okay? Free animals for farm, free animals for in the forest, free animals for in the desert, etc. Okay? Here you have the instructions. Write free animals for each habitat. Okay? <laughs> horses. Down on the farm live lots of horses. <laughs> Yay! With four powerful legs. Great galloping horses are very fast. They have long noses. And eyes on the side of their head. So they can see all around. This is great for wild horses. In case any bad animals sneak up on them. That's why horses can sleep lying down and standing up, always ready to run away. Horses love to gallop in big herds. A long time ago, people started working with horses. That makes most horses domestic animals. Now horses have lots of jobs. Some horses pull carriages. And some horses work for the police.
Others are part of the king's guard. Clippity-clop, clippity-clop. Cowboys and cowgirls ride horses. They help them ride through the vast country. Yeehaw! Would you like to gallop like a horse? What other animals would you like to learn about next? Let us know in the comments below and be sure to subscribe. <laughs> have you ever seen a pig at a farm? They have funny pink noses and curly little tails. Their noses are very good at sniffing out food. Oink oink. Pigs are omnivores. That means they eat both meat and vegetables. Pigs love to splash in the mud to cool down. But they are actually very clean. Did you know? Pigs are very clever. They're even smarter than dogs. Daddy pigs are called boars. Mummy pigs are called sows. And little pigs are called piglets. Look at the cute piglets. Click on the videos above to see more amazing animals. And be sure to subscribe. And now it's time for some more amazing animals. Number 2255, the amazing gorilla. These Western lowland gorillas are found in Western Africa in the uh, lowlands. They're mostly vegetarians and like to eat roots, shoots, fruit, bark and wild celery. Mm. Yeah, make sure you wash it first. Gorillas can climb trees. Oh. Sometimes. Oh, watch out below! But prefer to spend most of their time on the ground. Oh, I don't want to be on the ground! <laughs> well, if we run fast enough... Maybe we'll fly! Yeah, we'll fly! But maybe we won't. That was stupid. A group of gorillas is known as a troop. They're led by a male silverback who also likes to lie on his back. Yeah, you got a problem with that? The silverback decides where the troop eats and sleeps. Good idea. Excuse me. Baby gorillas stay with mom until they're five months old. Wait, I'm not tired. I want... Playtime is very important for learning how to fit in. Like a massage, sir? Ow, oh, yes, ow. Oh, Ooh, very relaxing. Ow, oh, yeah, thank you. The youngsters try to copy their big daddy. Look at me, I'm climbing you. Yeah. Yeah. We're, We're climbing, climbing the top. The top. <laughs> Gorillas. Those guys are crazy. And sometimes dad will even play with them. Oh. Ha, dad, tag, you're it. Oh, right. Whee, look at me. What now? <laughs> Classic kids. They may be a bunch of hairy show-offs, but the Western Lowland Gorilla is truly an amazing animal. And now it's time for some more amazing animals. Number 1758, the amazing tiger. If you thought your cat was large, then take a look at the biggest of the species on the planet, the tiger. Where is it? Oh, there it is. That was close. Oh, I'm sorry. We're playing hide and squeak. D don't you mean hide and seek? In our version, when we find you, you go squeak. <laughs> oh, mummy. Tigers can be found in India, China, and Southeast Asia. But sadly, there are only a small number of them left. But at least we get to be lion down. <laughs> <laughs> that was my lion joke. They are nature's most perfect hunter, striped with their own special markings, each different like a human thumbprint, which are incredibly useful for camouflage. There are some six subspecies of this big cat left in the world. Can you recognize this tiger? Is it Bob? Derek, Brian, oh, Peter, oh, Susan? No, you fools. I'm a Bengal tiger. Rawr. How's that for raw talent? <laughs> Excellent. They're big, they're bold, they're beautiful. The tiger, it certainly is one amazing animal. Okay, kids. Now, we have some extra grammar. Let's have a look at the present simple of action verbs, okay? 
The first one is to eat, and we have I eat, you eat, he, she, it, eats, with an S, the third person singular. We eat, you eat, they eat. To jump, I jump, jump is this, I jump, you jump, he, she, it, jumps, we jump, you jump, they jump. Also here, the S for the third person. To live, I live, you live, he, she, it, lives, we live, you live, and they live. Let's have a look at walk. To walk, I walk, you walk, he, she, it, walks, we walk, you walk, they walk. Let's have a look at climb. To climb, I climb, you climb, he, she, it, climbs, we climb, you climb, they climb. Let's have a look at swim. To swim, I swim, you swim, he, she, it, swims, we swim, you swim, they swim. Then we have fly. I fly, you fly, he, she, it, flies. Here you have I, E, S, the Y goes away, the Y goes away, and it becomes flies like this, okay? Then we have we fly, you fly, they fly. The last one is run, to run, I run, you run, he, she, it runs, we run, you run, they run. Okay, kids. Let's have a look now at extra vocabulary. Words for male, female, and young, baby animals, okay? Let's have a look at the first one. Cattle, cattle, which is cows and bulls. So the male, the man, is bull. The female or the lady is cow and the young baby is a calf. Now let's have a look at the next one, chicken. The, the boy, the man is called rooster, the lady is called hen and the little one, the baby, is called chick. Duck. The man, the boy, is called Drake. The lady is called Duck. And the baby is called Duckling. Then we have the horse. We have the stallion, is the man. The mare is the lady. And the foal is the little baby horse. Okay? Then we have lion. We have the man is the lion, the lady is the lioness, and the cub is the little baby lion. Then let's have a look at sheep. We have the ram is the boy, the man, the ewe is the lady, the girl, and the lamb is the little baby, the kid. Then we have swine or pig. The man, the male, is the boar. The female, the girl or the lady, is the sow. And the piglet is the little baby pig. Let's have a look at the tiger. The tiger is the male, the boy or the man. The tigress is the female, the lady or girl. And the cub is the little baby lion. A lion cub. Oh, sorry, it's a little tiger cub, not lion. Lion cub and tiger cub. Let's have a look at the goat. The male is called buck. The lady, the female, is called doe. And the little baby is called kid. Okay? 
So let's have a look at them again. Goat, tiger, pig, sheep, lion, horse, duck, chicken, and cattle, cows and bulls. Okay, kids, now we have types of animals, okay, types of animals. Based on what they eat, we have herbivores, carnivores, and omnivores. Herbivores eat grass and hay, and they don't eat meat. Carnivores eat meat, but they don't eat grass or fruit or vegetables. And omnivores, like the bear or the human being, the human, eat everything, eat everything. Let, I'll give you a few examples. Examples here. The horse is an herbivore. It eats hay. It doesn't eat meat. The lion is a carnivore. It eats meat. It doesn't eat grass. Now let's have a look at the classification of animals, okay? We have invertebrates, like insects or shellfish, animals that don't have a spine. They do not have a spine. And then we have vertebrates, animals that do have a spine, animals with a spine. The vertebrates are divided in fish, amphibians, reptiles, birds and mammals. And now we will see a little video about them, okay? It's very nice. We will watch a video on the types of animals and classification of animals, okay? Here we go. The world is full of many different types of animals. Some swim, some fly, some breathe air, and some breathe underwater. Some have skeletons, and others don't. To help us understand the differences between the animals in our world, scientists classify or sort animals into different groups that share important characteristics. The two largest groups of animals are vertebrates and invertebrates. Vertebrates are animals that have spines or backbones. Invertebrates are animals that do not have backbones. Most of the animals in the world are invertebrates. Some examples of invertebrates are octopus and squid, insects, arachnids, starfish and sea urchins, jellyfish, crabs and lobsters, clams, and many more creatures. On land, most invertebrates are fairly small, but in the water they may grow to much larger sizes, as the water will support them even without a skeleton. Vertebrates make up less than 5% of all animal species on Earth, but if I asked you to think of an animal, you would probably choose a vertebrate. Vertebrates are divided into different classes or groups. Several of these classes are specific types of fish. For example, jawless fish, like lampreys and hagfish, and cartilaginous fish, like sharks and rays. For simplicity's sake, these other classes are usually lumped together with bony fish and just called fish. The four remaining classes of vertebrates will all be very familiar. Amphibians, reptiles, birds, and mammals. Let's look at the characteristics that make an animal a fish. Fish live in the water, and they can breathe underwater. 
They use gills, not lungs, to get oxygen from the water around them. Fish have scales and fins. They are cold-blooded, which means that they cannot control their own body temperature, which changes based on the temperature of the environment around them. Most fish also lay eggs. Amphibians are a group of animals that include frogs, toads, newts, salamanders, and more. Amphibians, like fish, are cold-blooded. Unlike fish, amphibians can live on land and in the water, and have smooth, moist skin. Amphibians lay their delicate, jelly-covered eggs in the water. When the eggs hatch, the young may not look much like their parents, because some amphibians must go through metamorphosis, or a big change, to become adults. Aside from some fish, amphibians are the only vertebrates that undergo metamorphosis. Reptiles you might know are turtles, snakes, crocodiles, and lizards. Like fish and amphibians, reptiles are cold-blooded. Unlike them, reptiles are air-breathing animals and cannot breathe underwater. Even reptiles that live in the water must come to the surface to breathe. You can tell if an animal is a reptile instead of an amphibian if it has dry, scaly skin. Most reptiles lay eggs, but they are very different from the eggs of amphibians or fish. Their eggs are laid out of the water and have a protective shell. For the most part, reptile eggs have soft, leathery shells. Birds are easy to recognize. They are the only type of animals in the world to have feathers. Like reptiles, birds can only breathe air. All birds have two legs, and all birds also have wings. But not all birds fly. Unlike fish, amphibians, and reptiles, birds are warm-blooded. That means that they can maintain a constant body temperature. Birds lay eggs, but unlike the eggs of reptiles, birds' eggs have hard shells. The last group of animals we are going to talk about is mammals. Mammals are the group of animals that humans belong to. Like birds, mammals are warm-blooded and breathe air. Even mammals that live in water must come to the surface to breathe. All mammals have at least some fur or hair, although some have less than others. Almost all mammals give birth to live young instead of laying eggs. And all mammals feed their babies milk. A fun fact about mammals is that mammals are the only animals to have ears that stick out. The animal kingdom is classified into many different groups based on animal characteristics to help us understand the world around us. Saying an animal is an invertebrate, a vertebrate, a fish, amphibian, reptile, bird, or mammal tells us many things about it that can help us to understand its needs and behavior. I hope you enjoyed learning about animal classification today. Now let's start with a picture of a bull. We have a lovely bull here, you can see, and we'll have a look at his body parts. So let's have a look at these two. Hmm? We have one and two there. And what are these called? These are called horns. One horn, two horns. And I will write them here for you. Let's make them a bit bigger. Let's say 24. We have one horn and two horns. The bull has got two horns. Put them here, one and two, okay? 
Now, let's have a look at this here. What is this? This, okay. This is his tail. This is his tail. A, whore, a bull has one tail. Tail. There you go. We'll put it here. Then let's have a look at his feet. You have one, two, three, and four. Okay, so these are not called feet, but they're called hooves. Okay, I'll write them. One hoof, two hooves. And we can place them here. Okay? So these are the special body parts for the bull. Let's open the picture of an elephant. Okay? And in this case, it's a bit big. It's a bit big, this picture of the elephant. But let's see the special body parts. So we have one here and one here. This is a tusk. These are tusks. And we'll write the word here. So let's make it a bit bigger for you. We have one tusk and two tusks, okay? And we can put them here. Then let's have a look at his feet, at the feet of the animal, okay? Of the feet of the elephant. And we have one, two, three, and four. These in the elephant are called toes. Toes. The elephant has toes. And we'll put them here. Now let's go back up. And let's have a look at his beautiful nose. His beautiful nose, okay? He has this big, 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 big nose. And here as well. Yeah, all this is his nose. Okay, and let's make a nice arrow. I will make an arrow here. And I will write... Uh, no, no, trunk, trunk. The nose of the elephant is called a trunk, okay? All this. Then let's have a look at another animal. Another animal is the horse, okay? We have this beautiful horse here. And let's have a look at, his, at the name of his body parts. So we have one, two, three four feet and these are called like the bull they're called hooves so we have one hoof but four hooves okay let's uh, put it here then we have uh, his hair hmm? his hair this this is called a mane okay this is called a mane and it's the mane of the horse. The horse has a mane. Mane. Then the last thing we have to look at is his beautiful tail. Okay? Like the bull, the horse has one tail. Okay? I'll put it here. Then let's have a look at another animal. We have the shark. Let's have a look at the shark. So the shark has some strange body parts one two three and these are called fins one fin but three fins for the shark one fin or three fins in this case let's make it a bit bigger though Let's have it like this three fins and we can place it here one two three fins then we have a tail fin this is his tail fin and we'll write it here tail fin and then we have obviously his gills from which he breathes we'll make an arrow And these are his gills, okay? 
guilds and we have also his mouth here but we call it for sharks his jaws jaws okay so these are the body parts of a shark now let's go on and let's have a look at the lion the beautiful lion it's beautiful okay and we have a tail here and look at his feet one two three and four but these are not called feet are not called toes but they are called paws hmm? paws they are and I'll put them here so we have let's make it obviously a bit bigger one paw or in this case four paws the lion has four four paws one paw four paws now let's have a look at something else this is is like the horse like the horse the lion has a mane I will write it here mane and then we can see his mouth with a lot of teeth a lot of teeth okay so how do you write teeth we have one tooth but a lot of teeth okay tooth singular oops sorry tooth singular teeth plural and they go here one tooth a lot of teeth okay so this is the these are the body parts for the lion now let's have a look at the last one and it's a beautiful eagle beautiful eagle and we can see that they she has two feet but these feet are not called paws are not called toes are not called feet are not called hooves they are called claws so one claw and the eagle has two two claws we can put them here then you can see that she has a beak this orange or yellow mouth is called a beak we can write it here beak she has only one then let's have a look at these one and two these are the wings hmm? one and two they're called wings so we have one wing two wings the eagle has got two wings okay the last thing is these here one two three four five okay you can see all these and these ones as well all these are called feathers hmm? so these here and these here we can call them let's make a arrow we can call them feathers right feathers oh, sorry feathers there oh plural feathers right and we can place them here okay these ones so these were all the body parts for the animals and i will see you at the next lesson okay this was all for today so bye bye kids